The airship Macon, a $4 million dirigible, outbound from the Golden Gate for maneuvers at sea with the fleet. A fateful trip ending in disaster. Gas bags burst, and the giant air fighter ran amok, finally diving to the ocean bed. A complete wreck. Widespread drought and dust storms of unprecedented magnitude grip the West. A black blizzard turning day into night and blasting 36 million acres of crops and grazing land. Millions of dollars lost and untold suffering. The 61st running of the Kentucky Derby, America's Supreme Turf Thrill, with 50,000 fans wild as Omaha, gallant son of gallant Fox 1930 winner, romps down the stretch two lengths to the good in a fighting finish to become the Wonder Horse of 1935. Harlem goes haywire when its big black hope, Joe Lewis, lays Max Bear low. In addition to the fight, he also wins a bribe. And now he's headed for the heavyweight title. The epical inauguration of the first Trans-Pacific Airmail and Passenger Service. The giant airliner China Clipper hops off from San Francisco Bay on a successful 16,000-mile flight to Manila and back. The start of a new era in transportation. An outstanding scientific achievement in 1935. A successful stratosphere hop to a new world's altitude record of 14 miles with a perfect landing by Captain Stevens and Anderson of the Army Air Corps and the National Geographic Society. President Roosevelt pledges America to keep out of war. Despite what happened in continents overseas, the United States of America shall and must remain as long ago the father of our country prayed that it might remain unentangled and free. <laughs> New York City greets the end of 1935 with an unprecedented turnout of whooping, howling joymakers. Times Square seems to be the rendezvous for millions of celebrants eager to welcome 1936 in a way that hasn't been equaled in 20 years, if ever. Delirious, hilarious, and well fortified by pre-war, post-war, and just plain liquor, the crowd looks to the end of 1935 with a prosperity complex that gives high indication of better days. That is, after New Year's Day, which from the looks of things here tonight, promises to be the biggest hangover headache on record. And so, Happy New Year's! <laughs>